welcome back to the channel it's just awesome that you're tuning in so in this video i want to dedicate it to the pandora's box so let's start about what is pandora's box for the people tuning in i have no idea what this is pandora box is basically an all-in-one mainboard that has a possibility to play retro games with the retro games you need to think about 16-bit 8-bit arcade let's say MAME, neo geo and even some of the boards have the possibility to run the latest games like Sega Dreamcast. It depends of course what kind of mainboard you're going to get. In this video we are going to dedicate it to the Pandora box. In other words we are going to talk about all the burning questions you will have. What kind of version do we have? What's the best version? You name it we are going to talk about it. Pandora's box there are a lot of different videos out there so consider subscribing and check out the full playlist if you want to have more information of a certain product. I really love Pandora's box for what it is. It's not perfect, it's flawed in many ways. I'm doing YouTube reviews about Pandora box around three years now. I started my first Pandora box I bought was the Pandora box number five. I was blown away. Seeing this machine, machine having all these arcade games that I've never seen before. And a lot of familiar games that I can finally play. But beside that point, I was thinking, okay, from that point I needed to enter the jungle. Because at the beginning, three years ago, there were so many different versions out there. For, for example, we have in the Pandora box, we have in the key, Saga, you name it, there are quite some different versions. But then there's the question of course, which one is the best one? And that's the main reason why I started digging and going on the adventure of the Pandora's box jungle. Because I wanted to find out which one is the best one. Because let me buy the crappy versions and let me find the best one. So we don't need to do this. Because at the end, it's a shame. If you buy a version and it's pretty damn shitty and you wasted your money. So I hope I can help you out with the Avenger of the Pandora Jungle. Well, well let's talk about the first model I have found. It was the Pandora Box 5 that I already mentioned earlier in this video. The Pandora Box 5 came with 960 games and was very flawed in many ways. But we're going to talk about it a little bit later in this video. So I already found, let's say later on, some older main boards because I just started making this Pandora Book Jungle Adventure. I wanted to review, let's say, the oldest version, just want to see the differences and basically where it all started. I did manage to find some old key versions, but the Pandora Box 4 is very hard to find, and even nowadays. But don't bother, they are pretty damn bad, and you don't want to have it. It's not a good experience. The Pandora Box 5 was one of the first versions that had, for example, 720p. It was a pretty decent board. 3E Game Store and 3H Store. One of them are not available anymore. Simply because the AliExpress, or one of the stores at 3E Game Store, has swapped their name to the official Pandora's Box Store. But the fun fact is, if you're looking at the product they are selling and you're basically searching on AliExpress, you will see that the same pro products are for sale on other resellers. The 3A and 3H store were basically two this, uh, basically the same seller. But with the 3A game store, we could buy the Pandora Box 5, 6 and the Pandora Box DX. And with the Pandora 3H store, we're having the 9 and the 9D. We're going to get a little bit later in this video what are the differences. But what you're going to get with these Pandora's boxes is very simple. They are almost identical to each other. But we're having two stores now and I can tell you it's not, in my opinion, the real official store. Because nowadays, there is not really an official Pandora box anymore. But the reason why I just want to make this video, I'm going to explain you what are the differences and what is the best version. Simply, and what to look out for. But who sells the Pandora box nowadays? On AliExpress, there are so many different stores. And I think the most important thing is when you're searching for a Pandora box that you need to check out which store is the best one, has the best rating and who has sold a lot of these Pandora boxes. It is not to say that it is the best one of course, but at the end there are some let's say little stores out there and there are some big stores like the 3H store that has a lot of let's say Pandora box exclusive products. But most of the time if you're looking at the Pandora box DX you can find them with other companies. Is it smart to buy them from other stores? I think it doesn't even matter. For AliExpress, it doesn't matter. We have the dispute system, so if you have a problem with a seller, you can always fill in the dispute. So nevertheless, it doesn't even matter where you buy it. The question is, who gives you the best price? But where can we even buy these Pandora's boxes? So in my opinion, there are three ways to go. 
The first method is AliExpress. I buy basically everything from AliExpress because they have everything. If it comes to a single dual player console version of Pandora box, they just have it. If you need to find a main board and cable harness, you name it, they have it. And AliExpress is just a very fun way and also a very cheap way. But it depends of course where you live. Because you have import VOD rules and of course the, the shipment can be a little bit expensive to your country. The second is Amazon. Amazon also has a lot of great stuff on stock. Did notice it in the US store and in the US store. For the US buyers this can be a very cheap way because you don't have the import VOD, you don't have the expensive shipping. Some, some, sometimes they are even having free shipping. The third is eBay. Chinese are also selling on eBay, but you can find maybe a very cheap version. I did notice some people were saying in comments that they found an, let's say an older Pandora box for a super budget price. So maybe this can be a very good solution for you. So the first thing that you need to look out for is what kind of performance are we going to get and the specifications. That is the first thing they need to check beside the name. That's the reason why I told you forget the name, check the specifications. But the cost specifications will basically tell what kind of performance you're going to get. I did see some new main boards and at the end they had some very shitty emulation. For example MK didn't run very well or not at all. Or we have some other major problems like poor emulation. So first of all with the main boards it's so important. Forget the names and check the specifications. Alright so the software that is something that is very interesting. If you're looking at all the Pandora books that I've reviewed, what I did notice there are quite some differences with the software. And with software I mean the layout, how it looks and of course how it plays. To begin with we're having some different versions out there. So we're having the Pandora Heroes, we're having the Pandora Key, we're having the Pandora Saga and the Pandora's Box. And with these names that already tells you just forget them. If you look at the layout here we're going to know the biggest differences. Not only how it looks but also how it works. With the older version, like the key, Pandora Box 5, we're having some very old menus. We don't have a search function and there are a lot of flaws in the menu itself. But when you're looking at the latest edition, like the Pandora Game 3D, they have a very nice fancy menu, quick load, quick save. We're having a search option and that is something you need to look out for. So when you're looking for the software, if you're looking at the Pandora Box, you need to ask yourself, what kind of features do I like to have? And most important, look out. For the shitty ones. Alright so let's talk about the Pandora Box 5. This is the first version I've reviewed and also everything that came even before that is like the key for Pandora Box 4. Okay all these main boards are basically fun to have if you just want to have main Neo Geo but I can tell you these are flawed in many ways. Emulation is pretty poor, missing sound effects, don't have search function and at the end running on 720p and the older versions on 480p. But if you take a close look at the 9 and the 9D, yeah, I'm skipping all the other versions because the 9 and 9D are basically in Pandora Box 5. Only a little bit more beefcake, have more games, and at the end, having all the same problems like the number 5. So that's the reason why I am, let's say, naming these main boards in this part of the video. So this is what you're going to get with the Pandora Box 5, 9 and 9D, Key 4, Box 4, you name it, all the other stuff. Then we have the Pandora Box number 6. The Pandora Box 6 was improved in many ways. For example, we finally had the option to add games. We had the search function and the categorized function. A lot of things were requesting from the Pandora Box 5. But sadly, it was flawed. They didn't fix the main emulator. They still had a lot of sound issues and the PlayStation game were crashing sometimes. And to make it even more horrible, we couldn't save with the PlayStation 1 games. Let's say saving with a memory card. Then we having the Pandora Box DX was more like the upgraded, the beefcake edition of the number 6. The DX was still flawed in many ways. They added some new categorized uh, little features. They of course left the old stuff like search function. They even added the option to having 8 and 60 bit games. So now we have let's say more options. Sadly it's still mm, flawed in many ways and they didn't fix many old problems. So the DX is an improvement, but it is basically a minor improvement. Okay, so let's talk about the Pandora Key 7. And the reason why I say Key 7, because this was the first main board I purchased back in the day. Pandora Key 7, the 3D treasure, and even the Pandora Box 7. Yeah, make it even more confusing. That's the reason why I'm always saying forget about the names. 
Look at the layout. This was one of the best mainboards back in the day, simply because the layout it was horrible. The later version had a search function, but at the end it was really horrible. But this was the only mainboard that supported Naomi from Sega. And it also has support for PSP and 64 and some other stuff like 8-bit and 60-bit. So this was an all-round mainboard. But when you're looking at the layout in combination of the specifications, these mainboards were pretty powerful, one of the best mainboards. Again, you couldn't fight them because if you're looking at Pandora's box, you're always going to get the previous and the other models are already discussed. So do you know what I'm trying to say with this video? This is what I'm talking about with the names. Forget the names, look at the layout, and look at the specifications. Pandora Heroes, or Pandora's Box Heroes, or Pandora Heroes 3D. There are quite some different versions, but the Hero mainboard are just completely different mainboards. If you're looking at the layout and the specifications, depends of course what kind of version you buy, because if you're buying a newer version, you're going to get a little bit better specifications and some new options. The latest mainboard I did find with the Hero 3D was the version that I had the possibility to basically play PSP and 64 and all the other stuff. Emulators that didn't support it by the Pandora Box 6 and DX back in the day. So here you see, if you're not looking at the layout, forgetting the name, checking the specification, you can find some interesting mainboard. They are lost, they are forgotten by many. And most of the time you can find them very cheap. But if you take a close look at the Pandora Game 3D, the Pandora Saga 3D, the Pandora 9H, the Pandora 80S. It doesn't make any freaking sense. Does it? <laughs> I can tell you, there is. Very simple, forget the freaking names again. Just forget them. Look at the layout. Don't they look freaking similar? Yes, they do. Because at the end they are having all the same features. But the most important thing are the specifications of the main board. The 9H is a very low underpowered device. Is very old and is basically very cheap compared with the competition. But that's what you're going to pay for. Choppy emulation, choppy performance, but with the same layout with the Pandora Game 3D. And there you're going to get the biggest difference. So if you're finding a new Pandora box with a new name, check the layout and see if it's similar to Pandora Game 3D or maybe better. But here you're going to find the biggest difference and the specifications. I can't say it enough. That is so important. What is the best Pandora to buy? That is an answer only you can give yourself, simply because you need to ask yourself what kind of games you want to play with it. Two dimensional games, how big is your budget, and so on. So in the future, I can make, let's say, the best Pandora box for a certain year, simply because there are changing so many new things to the Pandora scene. There are so many new models coming out, besides the names, just talk about mainboard and specifications. Nevertheless, consider subscribing. I hope this video helped out. If you have any questions, you can always leave it in the comments. And for now, we'll be great to have you here in the Wicked family. And I will see you in the next video.